Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking this video. Today I have a Shein plus size haul, which is probably pretty obvious since it's in the title. But I got this and we are gonna go through this together. And once again, I'm pushing myself out of my comfort zone to buy things that I normally don't buy because I'm now down a little bit over 100 pounds. And also, I kind of got like a lot, so don't tell Chris. <laughs> Instead of doing item by item, I'm gonna try to do outfit by outfit so this doesn't turn into a two-part video. So, let's begin. Okay, so up first we have this cute little piece. This is a high-waisted skirt with suspenders. A pretty deep red with um, black and white, um, what would you call this? Like plaid type pattern, but it's not fully plaid. So the back side has the one button and the one slit, but the front side also has a button and it has two slits. Now, it is already on the shortest slit, so hopefully this fits. If not, I'm gonna have to pin this in. Okay, so this is it. I like it. I love it. It's so cute. Uh, it's a tiny bit short, so I am wearing it with leggings right now, but during the summer, I think bike shorts would be absolutely fine. It does not pass the short test. I did adjust the straps. I'm in that like weird middle part where if I want them over my chest, which is like the whole point, right? It's cute. I'm like right in between that area of too long, too short. I went ahead and extended the buttons onto the longest one because it felt like it was cinching in a little too tight here, like under my bust. So I did the looser one, but now like, this is just gonna keep falling off. I did get this in a 1X. I probably would have normally gotten a 2X, but they were sold out, so I went ahead and just did this. If it's fine, I would say, like you can see, just a little bit of space between my hand and the skirt. So I'm still losing weight, so it's okay that this is a tiny bit tight because I'm going to fit into it probably within the next couple months. Okay, so this is called the Shein Plus Tartan Skater Pinafore Skirt. And I bought it for $5.60. And one thing I did also want to point out while I was adjusting the straps, on this side of the strap, it seems like they didn't properly stitch down this small fold here, which normally just looking at this tiny little split, right, that's nothing. But when you get further down, it's like really wide and stitching, or stitching coming out of it. They've definitely like just miss, missed a few stitches there. So just something to be considered about. I can fix it. It's really, it's really no big deal, but it was $5. Oh, look it. Okay, and then also to know, as I've already just tried this on, and I know I said it was a tiny bit tight, the button is already coming loose. So again, if you aren't capable of throwing a few stitches or fixing a button, that would be something I would pay attention to. Okay, next is this cute little blouse that totally gave me Jack Skellington vibes. I don't know if it's just because it's pinstriped or what, but that's what I got. I had to have it. It's a pit plum, so it's supposed to cinch in high at the waist and then flounce out to kind of cover tummy area if you're um, embarrassed about your tummy. And then it comes with these just purely decorative brownish buttons. They don't do anything. It does have it does have a zipper in the back. I myself am going to try to put it on without the zipper and we'll see what happens. Okay, so as you can see, probably need a deeper plunge bra. I know you can see my bra, but I'm just showing you so you can see how kind of low cut this is and what kind of bra you might need to wear with it. It doesn't come down as long as I would like it, but I have this newfound confidence with losing 100 pounds, so I'm not actually like too grossed out by this area. And I'm at the point now, I'm like, if you don't like it, don't look at it. I didn't have to unzip it to put it on, but I think this is actually a size too small. If I remember correctly, this was another item that was completely sold out 
and the day before I checked out, not the day of, the day before, they brought it back in one of my, in one size, so I bought it because I had to have it. This is called the Shein Plus Button Front Stripe Peplum, and I bought it for $7.85, and I bought this in a zero, so normally I would buy a 1X, or an extra large on top. I wonder if the 1X would have brought it a little bit longer than how short it is and brought it to the length I technically prefer, but I am loving that I can fit into this. Like there's still some stretch right here. The, the straps are a little long, which probably also play into the fact that you need a, a lower cut bra because I'm just really short. I'm 5'3", so I imagine if you're taller, Correct me if I'm wrong, the straps at this length would probably be okay for you. But because I'm so short and I have to pull these, this down to get the straps to sit firmly on my shoulders instead of falling off, if I pull this up to where I would like, like cover my bra, then all day I'm going to be dealing with whoop, this. Oh, I'm so happy. <laughs> I forgot to totally introduce you to this piece because I was just so freaking excited. I really like sweaters, okay? I've never really cared for sweaters. I'm pretty sure it's because when I weighed 350 pounds, I was always hot. Like, I was never cold. And now, it could be 70 degrees and this I would probably still wear unless I was like out running errands and running around, but just lounging around the house, I would absolutely wear this. So, totally forgot to introduce this to you. This is just so cute and I think it's so flattering for just a sweater, right? Like, it technically has no shape. Oh, it's so soft. I love this material and I love the flowers. Like, I'm in love. Oh, I'm so excited about this. Excuse me. So it's cinched in here at the bottom, which, you know, most sweaters. Cinched in here at the wrist. Let's do the arm length test. Eh. That's fine with me. <laughs> oh my god, I cannot get over this. Okay, so this I would absolutely wear as just a shirt. Uh, if I was really cold, I would probably put a short sleeve shirt under this. I'm pretty sure I sized up on this, so I could wear it as a sweater. Let me see. Okay, so this is called the Shein Plus Drop Shoulder Floral Print Pullover. Drop Shoulder. There's nothing drop shoulder about it. Uh, tell me in the comment section below, because when I think of drop shoulder, I think like one shoulder has dropped, right? Correct me if I'm wrong in the comment section. So I did go up a size because I wanted this to be able to fit over tank top or short sleeve shirts or another long sleeve shirt if it's really cold during winter. So I got this in a 2X. And this is 872. Let's move on. Ah, okay, now we're finally switching into some of the outfits. I know <laughs> I said I'm gonna do outfits and I've been doing single items, but now I'm gonna actually get into some of the outfit pieces. So I'm gonna go put on this full outfit and then I'll be back. Okay, tell me. How do I look? <laughs> I like this so much. These are high waisted sweatpants that have butterflies on them with a crop top that also has butterflies. I'll come in and show you. I just want to show you everything else. Like, hey! <laughs> I like these. These are so soft and so comfy. I think I look really good. Okay, so I'm trying to push my hair out of the way so you can see the butterfly details. So these are blue butterflies and the butterflies on the pants are purple. Oh my god, your butterflies don't match. Your outfit doesn't match. You can't be out in public like that. Yeah, I think this is great. Let me know, am I, am I too old? Is this too young for me? I really like it. Like, I feel, <laughs> I feel really good in it. Okay, quick before my camera dies and I switch the battery. This is the Plus Butterfly Patched Cami Top. Oh, cami. This is definitely a crop top. It's not labeled as a crop top, which is maybe why it's a little bit longer. And I got it for $3.90. And the matching sweats, high-waisted sweats I got are the Shein Plus Butterfly Print sweatpants and I paid $10 for them. My only complaint about the sweatpants, which is what I always complain about, there are no pockets. We need pockets. Fashion designers, women need pockets. Women love pockets. Dresses with pockets, skirts with pockets, shorts with pockets, pants with pockets, sweatpants, all of it. We need pockets. Please give us pockets. Also, sorry, I'm messing with the lighting. I was supposed to do this early in the day and it is getting to be dark out, so... Hopefully this lighting isn't terrible. Oh, I can't see. <laughs> a 
Okay, so one thing I did want to show you on the strap, these butterflies are, you know, they're, you can move them. They are a patch, so they're thicker than just being a piece of fabric. So it's stitched just back here. So there is a little bit of concern of them falling off, but I hope they don't. And if they do fall off, I'll save them and re-stitch them back on. Okay, uh, on to the next outfit. Okay, up next is this cute little summer dress. This is, I would call, a cream color. It's definitely not white, so if it's coming up white on camera, I'm sorry. It is definitely cream, and then we have light pink roses and deep red roses. So it does stitch in underneath the bust line. It's really cute, comes up here to a point, comes out, has a little bit of ruching here on the cups. There is a tie here for the center, and there is a side zipper. It is, from what I can tell, two-lined, or is it three-lined? Yeah, so we have this kind of sheerish undercoat and then the fabric itself on top. So it is double-lined, so you probably could be fine with some nude underwear. Ah, <sighs> ta-da! Okay, good news and bad news. <laughs> bad news! There is no give in this. This is very tight. And as you can see, I'm able to zip it all the way up with, with some help, but it's pulling because it's technically too tight. And so I would recommend going up a size. It's so cute though, like I do recommend. So I went ahead and paired it with this uh, short sleeve kind of tan-ish shirt to go underneath. It is short. I think it's really cute in the front. Like the length is perfect, but in the back, because I have a big booty, it's too short. And as you can see, like because it is slightly too tight, it is a little bit pulling here, but it's okay. Like when I was buying this, I was thinking like I wanted summer stuff, but also when COVID is done, Chris and I want to go back to Japan. This would be something I would absolutely wear in Japan because I can wear this underneath and it definitely gives me that conservativeness that I kind of need versus just wearing this in Japan. Ah, this dress is so cute. I'm a little disappointed that it's a little snug. I'll just keep it in the closet because I know I'm still losing weight. So I think if I just get another 15 pounds, this should sit, zip up no problem and not be pulling the way it is. But I can wear it now and I can get it on now with some help. So it's still something I will wear this summer. I think this is such a cute buy. I highly recommend this just size up if you are not too sure. Sorry, excuse Bella, she's drinking water. But, so this dress, the floral dress, is called the Plus Tie Front Ditsy Floral Cami Dress. It is a 1X, I'm gonna keep it as a 1X, I'm not gonna return it because I know eventually I'll still lose the weight and it'll be able to fit it perfectly. I paid $14.77 for this dress. Now as for the basic tee I'm wearing, this is the Shein Plus Round Neck Solid Slim Tee and it was $8.70. I will tell you, this is a really cute and kind of thick-ish t-shirt. It's really flattering, but it is cropped. Like, they don't acknowledge it as a crop top, but it is goes, it goes to my waist is definitely not a full length top. So if you like the color of this top and you want to wear it as a regular shirt I, and you don't like the crop top or you don't like mid drift, then I wouldn't recommend it. I think what I remember reading from the comment section is that it's a little snug, so I went ahead and sized up on a 2X. So this is a 2X and the dress is a 1X. So I went and asked Chris to help me take the dress off. You know, just unzip it, nothing naughty. Next outfit. Okay, I have another summer dress here. I'm a little nervous about it because the reviews were so mixed about the sizing, like go up a size, don't go up a size, order your regular size. Try it on in just a second. So this is another floral dress and instead of regular straps, it is this gold uh, rope kind of material and it does cinch through the front and you can tie it here, which I think means you could probably make it a little bit looser for your bust line, which is nice. And then these little pearl uh, details. It is thin. On the bottom, it's just single lined, so definitely, 
um, nude bra, nude bike shorts. Uh, for me, I think I have white pair on, so it should be fine. There is not a zipper on the side, so this is a 100% pull over or slip into dress. Yo! <gasps> I look cute! Oh my gosh! Okay. <laughs> okay, I'm totally not trying to be conceited, I swear. This is so cute! Oh my gosh. Is anybody getting married? Cause like you need to invite me so I can wear this dress to your wedding. Okay, so the waist is totally stretchy. I just slipped it over. So if you're kind of on the big busty area, totally fine. You don't need to worry about a zipper and stepping in. This is super forgiving right here. So it's easy to slip on. The straps for once are perfect. As I always deal with straps from Shein being way too big and long. So this is great. It passes the length test. I love the length of this. I am wearing bike shorts because I think it's see-through and just a nude bra, but the length is great. I think this is so cute and it's so figure flattering. Like, oh, you should buy this. Again, I just love floral print, so I know like, <laughs> if you don't like flowers, this probably isn't your thing. This is so cute. I love the rope detailing. I was like, I kind of thought it was cute, but I wasn't super into it. But I really like it now. Now that I have it on, I just think, this is so flattering. Oh my gosh. Okay, sorry. Sorry. Okay, I really don't have any complaints about this. The only thing would be that this isn't double lined, so it's a little on the see through side. Okay, so this is called the Plus Not Front Floral Print Cami Dress, and I bought it in a 1X, and it was $8.70. And I think this is the one that had all the conflicting reviews. Size up, don't size up, this fits perfectly fine. Don't size up. I think this is great. Yeah, like, like there's still so much wiggle room in here that I don't think you need to size up. Unless you're probably really tall, then I would only suggest possibly sizing up because you want that length. All right, next is this cute little number. It's a dress, it's black, red polka dots. Kind of gives me the 50s pinup-ish vibe. So it is off the shoulder. These, you can pull on these. The cool thing about this dress is this goes all the way through. So this is actually crisscrossed. So you can pull it up and there's still fabric underneath here. That is my bra, but you can pull it up to be a little bit more on the conservative side if you want to, or you can pull it down. You can reach under on the other side and pull it down if you wanted to show off a little bit more cleavage. And these straps you can pull down further for whatever kind of look you're going for. So this is a ruching material here straight across the bust and across your sleeves. And then it stops right here and then it just goes down to a regular basic A-line. It definitely passes the length test for me. Uh, so I would wear bike shorts under this if I just wanted to, depending on where it was going, or I could pass with just underwear and not being worried about anything showing. I think this is also really figure flattering, so I say you should get it. <laughs> okay, so I took off my glasses because I need the ring light to be brighter, but then <laughs> it reflects on my glasses really bad. So I'm going to be doing this all day, uh, or all night, so I apologize. But So this is the Plus Polka Dot Shirred, 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 S-H-I-R-R-E-D, Shirred. I'm gonna link everything in the description below. And I paid $13 for this dress. I think it's very much worth it. Uh, if you were thinking about it, you should do it. All right, let's try on the next outfit. Okay, this next piece is a mini skirt. So this is the high-waisted pleated white skirt. It does have belt loops. I don't know if I'll be utilizing those. It does have a zipper on the side. It looks a little thin, but it could be just because my ring light is shining on it. But the goal was to pair this with a couple of crop tops for summer. Let's try it on and we'll see. Okay, so here's outfit one. A little bit out of my comfort zone. <laughs> so I went ahead and put the white shirt underneath just so you could see it. But when it's like really hot, I wouldn't wear this. I would just wear this cami or crop top, whatever you want to call it. Also, it does not pass the length test. So as you can see, I'm wearing white bike shorts. I really like it. So let me know what you guys think. I do think the skirt's a tiny bit too tight. It's something I'm too worried about because we're talking about like just barely like snug. 
and I know as more weight comes off it's gonna be perfectly fine so let's talk about price so this um, crop top is the plus abstract galaxy print crop cami top and it was five dollars and I got it in a 2x and I think it was because they were selling out Hey everybody, it's the next day. Uh, all my battery packs died. All four of my battery packs died last night, so we are going to film the rest of this today. And it's daytime, so the lighting should be a little bit better than last night. We were in the middle of a high-waisted mini skirt. So let's do outfit number two with that. Okay, this is outfit number two with the high-waisted white mini skirt. Uh, I think I would probably switch to nude bike shorts underneath because the skirt's pretty see-through and I feel like you can see the white shorts underneath so and then you can also see like where the white shirt that I'm wearing ends so I think I would probably wear nude shorts and then like tuck the white shirt in because the whites are just too very different I guess. As always with Shein my problem is the straps are way too long. Like. Come on, she is. We're all not six foot. <laughs> so that's my only problem is the straps are way too big. The bust is like really stretchy. So if you have a much bigger bust and you are worried about fitting in this, this has a lot of give, so I think you should be fine. So this crop top is gray tie-dye. I don't know if you can tell, it's slightly ribbed. So this is outfit number two. Let's move on to outfit number three. Okay, here is top number three. I actually don't like it paired with a skirt at all. Um, I think just the frill here just makes it look weird up against the mini skirt. So I won't pair these together like I thought I would when I ordered them online. It is that stretchy gingham across the chest and then it ends shortly after and then just comes out in a ruffle and these straps are tieable which is why mine don't look the greatest because, <laughs> because I was having trouble tying them up myself. So I guess I wonder if you could, I guess you technically could, you technically could wear this as a tube top without the straps, but the straps are really cute. So as I said, I really like this top. I don't like it with the mini skirt. I will try to pair it with some jeans. For this crop top, I ordered it in a 1X. 1X is fine, it's not tight at all. There's definitely some space. So if you're in between sizes, you can go ahead and size down. I would say confidently to a size 1X. Uh, so this is called the Plus Knot Strap All Over Floral Cami Top, and I paid $5.20 for it. And for the crop tie-dye, this one is also a 1X, and again, lots of stretch. If you're in between sizes, go ahead and size down. Lots of uh, stretch in the breast area too, so if you're on the bigger booby side, should be totally fine. So it's a Shein Plus tie-dye ruched busty seam front cami top, and I also paid $5.20, which is why I wanted to make so many outfits with this mini skirt, because all the tops were such a good price. Okay, so now I am trying on this long sleeve uh, sweater top. Uh, I wouldn't, no, I wouldn't call it a sweater. I'd call it like just a long sleeve t-shirt. This is really cute. This did come in quite a few colors. I went ahead with the red because I didn't want to order another black sleeve long shirt, even though I love them. Just trying to put more color into my wardrobe. This is soft and really, it's really thin and really comfortable. It's not as soft as the black one I just got. That one was way small, softer, but this is definitely more like a t-shirt. It's definitely like a lot longer. Um, and if you're wondering where these pants are from, <laughs> I'm so sorry. These are from my Boohoo haul, which is already up. It's actually like two hauls prior. I'm really bad at wearing jeans. I just, I love to look at jeans and I love to order jeans. I just don't wear them because I always am convinced I'm going to look terrible. But when I put this on, I was like, hey, I look cute. Uh, so that's where these jeans are from. I'm gonna shameless plug. You can go ahead and look at my boohoo haul if you'd like to see what I paid for these pants, what size of these pants, and what I think of these pants. It feels good. The sleeves, do the sleeve test. It does way better than the long sleeve sweater. I love the light pink flowers up against the black, and then I do like the touch of red. Okay, I did go up a size because I wanted this to be loose. I didn't want it to be form-fitting, so I got this in a 2X. And this is called the Shein Plus Round Neck Floral Rag Raglan? This is either Raglan or Raglan. I don't know this word. 
uh, sleeve top and I paid $10. All right, we are gonna try on another shirt that should be paired with jeans. I'm sorry, I said should, but it's really up to you what you wanna wear. I just thought I should pair it with jeans, but I might not like it paired with jeans. So we'll figure it out together. Okay guys, this is something else really out of my comfort zone, so be nice. <laughs> I really like it though, but I'm like, this is very sexy. Well, I just, I'll just show you. All right guys, what do you think? I think it's really cute. It's off the shoulder. It is a really thin material. As I said, the sleeves are off the shoulder and then they cinch in and come out into a bell sleeve. And again, floral, I can't help it such a lovely flower pattern so this is like hibiscus and I believe this is I don't know what that is to be honest <laughs> I'm not a flower expert okay I just really like flowers I love this pattern this pattern is very cute and as I said it's really thin um, so this does stretch up here and there is also the stretchy waistband here and let's see That's the only thing that kind of makes me nervous is like raising your arms up and then it come how high up it comes. But when you pull it back down, it's really only that much skin showing, depending on how you want to wear it. That's probably how I would the first time going out in public like this would be like, don't, don't look at me. But yeah, that's the only thing. Uh, is it fair to say my waist is kind of, you know, I like it. Look at it. I don't take myself over. <laughs> yeah, like, getting there. All right, because clearly I need to stop checking myself out. <laughs> okay, this is the Plus Floral Print Bardot Blouse, and I paid $10 for this. Oh, okay, I bought this in a 1X. Let's see, if you're in between sizes, I would probably, if your arms are like your concern and you're in between sizes, probably go up to the 2X just to be safe. The arms are a little bit tight on me and I know that's also because I have, I'm starting to develop extra skin on my arms from you know losing 100 pounds. So I know that would be only my problem, um, but it doesn't hurt me. So if you have bigger arms, do the 2X. If your arms are not your problem and maybe your bust is your problem, I would also, your bust, I would also say do a 2X. Because although it's like really stretchy here and really stretchy here, there's not, too, too much stretch here. I know you can pull this off the chest, but my fear would be that the fabric right here would do that pulling thing. So if you are bigger than a double D, um, maybe even a triple D, I'd say if you're bigger than a triple D, you'd probably also want to size up if you're in between a size one and two. But I really like this purchase. I'm really glad. I'm actually going to try on that pink top really quick with this just to see if I like it with jeans um, because I hated it with the mini skirt. Okay, so I went ahead and put this on. I'll do this really quick. I like it. It comes down a little bit longer than the other one. Gives it that cute frill. Little insecure about this, but not too much. I mean, it technically looks the same as if the other shirt. I don't know why this one makes me a little bit more insecure than the other one when this is covering up more. It makes no sense in insecurity brain. I don't know. <laughs> but I, I do like the top. And now that, um, I don't have it up against the white. I can tell you now that this is actually see-through. This ruffle, I couldn't tell before because it was laying against the white skirt, so it didn't look see-through to me, but this little piece is see-through. And then this is kind of thin on the see-through side, so I would definitely pair it with a nude bra. It's nothing offensive up here. Uh, this part is definitely more sheer than this part, but just something to be considered. Okay, so I'm a little late to the game on this one. It's actually been in my wish list for probably a couple months now, and I just never bought it because I never went on sale. But I finally just caved in and got it because winter's already done, and I still want it. <laughs> So this is a hoodie. It's actually really thin. It's not thick at all like I thought it was going to be in the picture. It's shorter than I would classify like a regular hoodie. I feel like hoodies probably go a little bit longer, but maybe that's just my thing. And I do remember reading the comments, a lot of people were saying size up so you can get that baggy feel. 
So I did size up. I know I got this in a 2X, but even then, I think if I wanted this to really look like a hoodie, I probably would have sized up to a 3X. So depending on what kind of look you want, if you want this to look like a true hoodie, go up two sizes. If you like that it's kind of slim fit hoodie slash t-shirt, then possibly just size up one. Let's see. Comes with a really, really decent size hood. Comes with a really decent size hood, it's pretty big. So I do like that. But one thing you need for a hoodie is a pocket. So I'm angry that this sweater doesn't come with a pocket. And I, I'm like trying to think, did I know it didn't come with a pocket when I ordered it? Like surely I must have known, but why? <laughs> okay, on this end, on the picture for sale, it does not have a pocket, so I must have just been so drawn to the cute little skeleton hand and just not paid attention. Really bummed that it doesn't have a pocket, but it is really cute still nonetheless. This is the Plus Skull Print Drop Shoulder Hoodie. And again, I don't know why they're labeling labeling things as drop shoulder, because for me, a drop shoulder is like one shoulder off. Tell Like again, tell me in the comment section below what a drop shoulder is if I'm incorrect. I, like I said, I went up a size. I got this in a 2X. It was $13.08, which I think is a great price for a thin hoodie. Would have been better if it was thicker and it had the pocket. I would have been even more ecstatic, ecstatic about the price. Hope you guys, hope you guys like it. But we're getting down to the last couple outfits. I know you guys have been with me for a long time, so let's go. Okay, guys, I'm really excited about this top. Sorry, Bella. So this mini skirt uh, another shameless plug it's from my last Shein haul so if you want to see my review on that one and the size and the price I paid for it so go ahead and look that up it should be in the clothing haul playlist so that you can get my review on the mini skirt but I wanted another top to wear with the mini skirt instead of just having that one purple crop top that was paired with it so I went ahead and bought this this is so soft it's also really thin Where are you going, Bella? Are you gonna lay down? Nice. Anyway, so this is really extremely soft. I almost want to describe this as like swimsuit type material, but it's I just I just don't know how to describe it. But it's extremely soft. But this is not this does not feel like just a regular cotton shirt. Um, so the reviews before I ordered it, they had said that it's a really slim fit. So if you want it, like adhesive to your body or to your regular size if you want it just a, just a regular slim fit not stuck to you go up one size and if you want it to fit like a regular t-shirt go up two sizes so I knew this was going to be tucked into my mini skirt so I went ahead and just went up one size so it was a slim fit but not sticking to my body so I did order this in a 2x I love the moon and stars I think it's so cute and I think put in this mini skirt is absolutely adorable. I like this. I can't wait to wear this before I have to put it all away. Oh, one comment I do wanna make about the shirt because it is a slim fit and I think because of the type of material it is, I have it currently tucked into my um, biker shorts. Uh, I had it sitting over the biker shorts and I could feel it rolling up. So I, I don't know if that's because of the fit. I know sometimes if you wear things too tight, they will roll up or if it's the material, because this is not a regular material. This almost feels like some suit material. So just something you should be considerate about if you want to purchase this. Okay, and this is the Shein Plus Moon and Star Print Tee. And as I said, I went up to a 2X and I paid $8.50 for it. We are going to do another outfit, also paired from my last Shein haul. Are they black or are they red? <laughs> I am so excited about these. These are so cute. These were under the leggings section. Uh, they are leggings, but they feel a lot thicker than what I would call legging material. On the inside, it's pretty smooth, but on the outside, it has like this bumpy texture. I don't know if any of that's gonna... Okay, it's slightly coming up on camera. You see the little bumpy texture? So it's not smooth like a regular legging, but it's not offensive. Um, and like on the inside, it's smooth. So if you're a little bit on the sensitive skin side, I don't think it'll bother you. But I did get these to go with my sweater that I bought for my last um, Shein haul, which is the 
red and black sweater that says Akuma, which is demon in Japanese. So I'll go pull out that sweater, but let's put these pants on. <sighs> okay, so these are the pants. Uh, but I bought these leggings to be paired with this sweater, and I thought it'd be a great, really thick winter outfit. And depending on how much I paid for these, I'm either gonna keep them or sell and give them back. But the problem is that although I thought these were the same material because of the texture, this side is way more stretchy than this side. And can you see that? I don't know how that's possible. Because they feel like the exact same fabric but this side is definitely way stretchier than this side. So that would be my only complaint and be my only word of caution as to possibly not buy these leggings. Okay, so these are the Shein Plus Elastic Waist Tartan Spliced Leggings. I bought them in a 2X and I paid $8.50 for them. Because I didn't spend over $10, I think I'll keep them. And I'm pretty confident by next winter when I can wear this whole outfit again because again, watch my review about this sweater. Uh, I probably should easily be able to take off enough weight. I would definitely recommend going up one or at least one, possibly two sizes, simply because the red side of the pants are not as stretchy. And if you have thick thighs and a big butt, kind of like I do, you need the stretch. Okay, I'm starting to sweat in this, so let's change. <sighs> okay guys, this is the last full outfit. This is the most out of my comfort zone outfit I've ever bought. <laughs> it is a two-piece outfit and again it was something that I've been watching for months and I never had the confidence to buy it and then it was completely sold out so I got really sad and then while I had it in my wish list and I was getting ready to check out it had said one size available so I bought it. I'm pretty sure I bought it in a 1x which I probably would have bought the two-piece in a 2x because I was worried about my bottoms but this 1X fits. Okay, what do you think? <laughs> what do you think? So, like I said, it's a two-piece. This whole thing can cinch up a lot more and you can bring this up. I'm not wearing the proper bra for it and I don't wanna get in trouble with YouTube. But if you had a smaller like two, like two top bra, you could cinch this up a lot tighter to make it more of a bandeau cross. The sleeves are attached. They're attached a tiny bit awkwardly. They're just stitched right here which makes me nervous. Well, actually, that's a pretty good range of motion. I'm nervous about, you know, it snagging or ripping off, but um, it's pretty good. The sleeves also can cinch in, so you can make them really sh tight if you want to, or, or really short if you want to, or you can leave them long. I kind of like them long, so I left them long for this. And then the shorts have that uh, ruching material up here, and then they stitch in the rest of the fabric kind of along this line, which for me, I like because then the shorts kind of flounce out and it hides the bottom of my tummy. So I think it makes it pretty figure flattering if, you, if your tummy area is kind of like your area of concern. But I like this. I like it a lot. They're, the shorts are wide, but it is like this cross material underneath, like um, they, they, crop, they lap over each other. So it opens here in the front, but this material comes about halfway to my butt cheek here. So when the wind is blowing, it shouldn't be too much of an issue, you know, accidentally showing your butt or anything. I think this is really fun. I love the print. I love the navy blue. I love the flowers. I mean, I can't say that enough. And I think this is great for a cruise. I mean, it's great for summer, a day at the beach, any, anything you're doing in the summertime, but I cannot wait to wear this on a cruise. Which just Fingers crossed. And this is the plus off the shoulder floral print sheared top with shorts. And I got it in a 1X. Like I said, I would have ordered a two, but it was all sold out. And the 1X is totally fine. I was only concerned about the bottoms. And the only thing that I would say is tight is the arms, but that is my own personal issue with losing weight. So you know, I have extra skin in my arms. So it's actually really nice to like shove them in there <laughs> and hide them. <laughs> I paid $13.95. I'm really happy I finally pulled the trigger on this and I bought it. Some things to know, it is that ruched material um, in the back. So it's pretty stretchy. So if you have a larger bust, you should be able to fit into this comfortably. If your arms are on the tighter side, like are on the bigger side like mine, I can get them to fit in here fine. Once, you know, I needed a little bit of help just to like pull it up all the way. 
pulling it up in the back was a little difficult by yourself. So if you have someone to help you, I think they'll be fine. I don't think you need to go up another size. The shorts are very forgiving. This is a 1X and like if you were a 3X, you probably could fit into these shorts. These are very stretchy shorts. I think it was a blessing in disguise that the 1X had finally showed up saying, hey, we have one left, do you want it? Uh, because I would have gotten the 2X and the shorts just would have been pretty big. So that is everything from this box. I will say there is, there are two swimsuits here. If you want to see them, maybe I'll do like a mini swimsuit haul because I do have a pool so I usually keep a couple swimsuits just on hand. So if you want like a mini swimsuit haul, I'd be more than happy to do that for you. I just left them out because this video is already so long. I thought it would be weird to put swimsuits in with regular clothing. So that is why I left them out. So overall, I'm happy with all my purchases. The only purchase I have anything to complain about would be those leggings because it's very obvious that one side of the leg is not as stretchy as the other side and I'm sorry when you're doing plus size clothing or even regular size clothing clothing the material needs to match pockets like we need pockets <laughs> girls love pockets quit denying us pockets we like pockets these don't even have pockets like if I'm on a cruise ship I need to be putting my phone in my pocket uh, but okay I liked everything I got everything for a really good price I think on an average, I paid less than $10 technically for every item. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already to my channel. All right, this video is long enough. I am done rambling. You have a wonderful day. Enjoy your Easter, my Easter bunnies. So this should be coming out Friday. So your Sunday, yep, will be Easter. So happy Easter. And as always, I love you all. Bye.